welcome back to Popping the Popcorn. I'm your host, Katie. And today is TV Tuesday. Happy to be Tuesday today, everybody. Presented to you by Al Lacard. Go follow his channel. Um, so every um a bunch of us do TV Tuesdays in support of him. And today my movie of choice is Jumanji. And it stars the late Robin Williams. It has Kirsten Dunst, Bonnie Hunt, Bradley Pierce, Jonathan Hyde, Adam Hamburg, uh, Babe Dentworth, I don't know how to pronounce her name, uh, David Allen Greer, has a lot of different famous people in this movie, and it is one of my favorite movies. I used to watch it all the time as a kid, um, just because it's a fun adventure movie. Um, so this is what the Jumanji is about. A magical board game unleashes worlds of adventure on siblings Pete and Judy Sharp. While exploring an old mansion, the youngsters find a curious jungle-themed game called Jumanji in the attic. When start playing, they free Alan Parrish, who have been stuck in the game in the game's inner world for decades. If they win Jumanji, the kids can free Alan for good, but that means buying a giant bug, ill born monkeys, and other stampeding rhinos. So this is a fun adventure movie. Um I give this movie a 10 out of 10 because I just really enjoy it. Um, this is directed by Joe Johnston. Um, the music is great in this movie. The center photography is really good. The way that they did the set designs in this movie is really good. Um, one of my favorite scenes is the big monsoon scene that's in the mansion. That's really cool. Um, there's like flying monkeys. There's all kinds of stuff going on in this movie. And this movie is for everybody. Um, and it's just a f all around fun movie that I really enjoy. Um, and I think everybody should at least experience this movie once. Um, and it's just a great movie. I really miss Robin Williams. He did a lot to this movie. And did a lot of different um, themes to this movie and stuff. He brings a lot to this movie. Um, here are some fun facts of, of the movie. Robin Williams didn't know to act startled when he was being shot by Vin Pelp. That is the hunter in the movie. He... Um, he didn't, um, there are lots of effects, stunts, and displays in Jumanji, which only add to the jungle-based drama. Not everything in the movie was the result of clever camera work and advanced acting skills, though. In the scene where the, his character is being shot at by Pelvin, by Van Pelvin, Robin Williams' reaction was genuine. This was because the fake gunshot on set were extremely loud and kept making him jump. That's really interesting that it kept making him jump. Um, Robin Williams wrestled too hard with an actor inside the alligator suit. Huh, interesting. I didn't think he would wrestle the guy in the alligator suit too well. The prop Jumanji board game used in the film now sells for... Thousands of dollars. Wow. That's really that's really cool though. I would love to own the Jumanji board. <laughs> I had the game when I was little. There was like this game, I think Milton Bradley came out with it or something like that. And it was an actual board game, but you know, you don't jump into the game like everything else. Robin Williams was given keys to the town where the film was shot. That's really cool. So I guess he got to be like the mayor and the key holder of the thing. The director was worried Robin Williams wouldn't stick to the script. That's really cool that he stuck to the script and everything. Um, 
Scarlett Johansson auditioned to play Kirsten Dunst's role, role, but didn't get the role. Hmm, that's an interesting fun fact. I did not know that. Uh, Pierce Bradley's monkey makeup took three hours to apply each day. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, but it probably took a long time. The film is dedicated to visual effects supervision who died before released. Oh, wow. That's really sad, but it happens. Robin Williams found surreal experience having imagined creatures that weren't really there. Hmm. That's interesting. Um... Robin Williams told fans Shumanji was an island in the Caribbean as a prank. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, Robin Williams could relate to Alan Parrish's lonely childhood. I did not know that. Um, Robin Williams saw similarities between Parrish's father and his own father. Hmm. Um, the author's dislike... Of Monopoly inspired Jumanji. Huh, interesting. Um, the parachute sign can be found in New Hampshire. That's really cool that, that they kept the building. Peter Octor Bradley Pierce was also the voice of Flounder and Little Mermaid. I did not know that. That's really cool. The author of Jumanji also wrote Polar Express. I didn't even know Jumanji was a book, to be honest. Um, the film's final sh scene was shot first. Oh, hmm. So it was like the Christmas scene. The crew had to shovel in snow from a nearby mountain for the Christmas scene. Wow. There are... Various fan theories about Alan's father and Pulp Fump being played by the same actor. That's really cool. Um, There's a real Jumanji board game, like I said. Yeah, I had it as a kid. And it was really cool and fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review on Jumanji. You can find it on TV right now. So I highly recommend you guys check out this movie if you have not seen it. And I hope everybody has a great Tuesday. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Oh, and hit the thumbs up so that, because it helps me out a lot. And hit that bell so that way you know when I have more videos uploaded. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.